quickly just add uh, that formula script. So you're going to go into the tools menu and choose script gallery. And inside of here, you're going to have to search for it. So we're actually going to type in form mule, all one word. Okay, and when this shows up, you're going to hit install. It takes a second. So you're going to click OK. And what should happen is you should get a new uh, option at the top, so formula. So I'm going to click that Run Initial Installation. Uh, every time that you run a script for the first time, it asks you for authorization. So you need to click OK. This tells you what it's going to do. I'm just going to accept that. <clears throat> Okay, and just like that, now there should be uh, that run initial installation one more time. Okay, so this is brand new. They must just be shoving this out for the first time. But it says help us track the usage of this uh, script. So let them know you're an educational user. Absolutely. Uh, I don't know what our institution's analytics tracker ID is right now. So we'll just set that as it is. Okay, and now... Uh, you can hit the what is form mule if you have any questions, but I, I should run into this pretty good And then there's tutorials at the bottom as well, but I'm going to do form mule and choose step one Which is define all of the areas that we want to use so uh, right now We only have one sheet. That's the form uh, responsive, so that's good But I am going to create a unique case number for each form submission. Okay uh, Easy to refer back to later and then just hit save settings You should see at the very end it's created a new column and and put the label of or title of case number in there so click OK and now uh, we've got the merge source setting set up um, in the new version or the updated version of formula uh, the old uh, copy down formulas used to exist in there but now it's in the advanced options so I'm gonna go ahead and click on that because we want to make sure that all of those formulas are copied down so here it is right here copy down formulas And again, what an amazing job by these guys. Like, look, I haven't had to really do anything so far. So I'm going to scroll down. And once I get to areas where there are formulas present, it's going to ask me whether or not I actually want them. So I'm just going to select each of these. So those are the seven questions. And then make sure I just check them to say, yes, please continue to copy these formulas down. Let's see. I want total percentage. I want comment. I want each of these feedback. So I'm going to activate them and select them. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, and hit save settings. Okay, now what it does is it creates a new sheet. You can just kind of ignore this. Go back into our form responses, and uh, we're pretty much good to go. Now, uh, one more thing that I'm going to do is set up my email merge, okay? Um, but I'm not going to go through each of the steps. I want to test it out to make sure it works. But I'm going to turn on the email merge, which means that when this script fires, it's going to it's going to send out an email. Okay, and then I also want to make sure that I trigger this feature every time the form is submitted. So that's that like instant feedback. Like it should happen almost instantaneously. And then if you want to mess around with this, you, there's lots of instances where you might want to set like six different templated emails based upon. Um, a particular entry field but in this instance we just want to send an email every single time um, a new form uh, gets submitted so I'm gonna submit settings okay and you can see it brings up this email template we'll talk about this in a second it's not nearly as um, complex as it looks but at this point I want to go and make sure that my actual uh, script is working properly that the formulas are being copied down okay so I'm gonna go back in and submit another response so we'll call this one Larry Bird Celtics at. And again, for this one, I actually don't want to get 100%. I want to make sure that it's working properly. So I'm just going to randomly, I'm not even looking, just going to pick as I go through and hit submit. Now, if I head over here quickly, I should see all of those starts come in. And now look at this, it starts to mark it all for me. And if I scroll across, okay, so look, it's telling me that I only got one out of seven tells me that I got 14% okay my comment is you did not achieve the goal of 70% please review your materials because remember this is based upon getting over 69% and then for uh, the feedbacks 
I answered question one correctly, but I got all the rest of them wrong. And you can see it's actually giving me the answers right after that. And this is the very first time I've triggered it, so it gives me a case number of zero. Right now, it is also telling me that there's an error because uh, there's no to address in the email template. And again, uh, we're going to set that up right away. Okay, the beautiful thing about uh, Formule is uh, it allows us to very easily and quickly uh, choose any of the fields in our spreadsheet and include them uh, into the templated email. So let me show you exactly how this works. So I'm going to go by, um, oh, excuse me, we've already done the setup email merge. So let me just head over to this email template, okay? And you can see that what we're looking at right here is the the left-hand side yellow are the reply to, the to, the carbon copy, the subject, and the, the body control plus return gives a new um, a new line and it is HTML friendly if you want to add HTML so but then right here you've also got available merge variables okay and they've all they all start with the the dollar sign and then uh, these I don't even know what these crazy brackets are called with quotations and and basically that is the title of the different columns going across so basically what this is saying is let's look at question for feedback if I was to put this into my templated email then whatever shows up in question for feedback is what is going to appear in that email so this is pretty powerful stuff so let's just go to reply to so we'll just set this as this account which is just a school tech account for doing examples like this and under the two we want to send this to the actual uh, user so I'm gonna click on this email address and I can just copy that right out of the top so I'm gonna do control C and then inside of there I'm just gonna do a control V so you can see I'm taking this value okay and again whatever value shows up in this email address right here okay is going to be who the response is sent to uh, I always like to CC it to myself so just so I have a copy of it as well. Okay, normally that would be a teacher's ad uh, address. Okay, and so now in the subject line, uh, we're going to put aperture intro quiz score four, and then I'm going to put in the kid's first name. So I'll take that code, so I'll copy it, paste it, put a space. Grab that last name, copy it, and paste it. So it's going to say Aperture Intro Quiz Score for first name, last name, right? So one of these should be like Michael Jordan or whatever I put. So now inside of this, the very first thing that I'm going to say is um, uh, same thing. I'm going to do first name, last name. So I'm just going to copy this right here. And you know what? I'm just going to go first name. So I'm just going to copy the first name come down here and paste that okay and then I'm gonna hit comma and now this is where if I click in here and I hit alt enter okay I can get those breaks and now I'm gonna put in the message that we gave them from before where is that message I called it comment okay so I'm gonna copy that come in here and then I'm gonna paste that comment in and hit enter Okay, now I'm going to go down two more, and then I'm going to say, let's do first name one more time. Oops. Okay, so I'm going to say, let's say, Johnny, you received. Okay, uh, now is probably oh. a good time for you to, just the last video that I've, okay. So Johnny, you received, and let's take what his total is. You receive total out of seven on your quiz. Uh, refer to the answers below. I uh, know I won't even put that in there. For these purposes, I want to speak this long. So now, what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to put in. 
the question one feedback for them. Like I don't need to tell them what the correct answer is if they already got it right, but I do need to send them instant feedback if they get it wrong. So what I'm going to do is actually just highlight all of these. Okay. Bring it in here. Okay, and Oh, what was going on there? There we go. Okay, and for each one of these, I just need to make sure that I'm doing a Alt Enter. Okay, looks pretty good. Remember, um, I've already told them they need to redo the quiz in that comment section uh, if they got it wrong. So I think I'm good to go. I'm, I'm going to ignore this translate code and everything else. Is okay, again. If you're good with HTML and you want to spice it up what the email uh, content's going to look like, by all means, go ahead. All right, we'll just fill this out again. Okay, and again, I don't really care whether these are right or wrong, so I'm just going to just make sure that the whole system is working properly. So let's just run over here, make sure that... Come on. Here it comes. Beautiful, and you can see that it's it's telling me that email one template sent to uh, the user's address and CC to back to the teacher. One thing I do want to point out about using these email template status uh, inside a formula is. Formule will ignore sending an email only if this cell is filled. So like if you come in and you like, let's say in the future, delete this for whatever reason, uh, the next time that a form is submitted, it's going to send this again because it's reading whether or not this, this cell is empty. So just be aware of that. So now, yeah, okay, so let's um, head over into our email and see exactly what that templated email is going to look like. So if I head into my inbox, I can see right now it's saying it's from me because, well, this is my account, but uh, you can see that the title is Aperture Intro Quiz Score 4 and there is the user's name. Remember, if I come back into the actual template, right, it says Aperture Intro Quiz Score 4, first name, last name, and that was the person that just submitted it. So, oops, pretty slick, okay? And then uh, there's the snippet. So it says, uh, Magic, you did not receive the goal of achieve sorry the goal of 70% please review your materials and send the quiz again that was the comment that was based off of whether or not the kid had 70% uh, we've got magic here again which is a little redundant so you know I would take it out um, but again just telling them what they got and then here are the auto corrections and the feedback for the kids right away so um, I that's it. I, I hope that you guys see the value in this. Again, I don't want to take anything away from Flubrew because it's a very, very powerful product. But uh, this automation for me is just outstanding, I, especially because you know we're, I'm trying to encourage kids to to do uh, inquiry-based learning from home, um, and I want to try to get as many of my materials up online, and I hope that, that that my colleagues do as well. And so, you know, if a kid is doing something at 11 o'clock at night. Wouldn't it be great if they can if they can get that instant feedback to see whether or not they were right or wrong immediately, and that's that's what this is uh, trying to trying to solve. So, yeah. Again, I thanks for watching, and uh, I hope you enjoyed it.